Welcome to Africa Mojo Tours and Transfers. We are a tour operating company based in Johannesburg. Today we will get you a combination of Pretoria City with Kalinin Mine Day Tour. Our tour will begin at the Fuatraka Monument. The planning of the monument was done from 1931 by Afrikaner Cultural Organization. The monument was introduced on the 16th of December 1949 and this date was selected to coincide with the commemoration of the Battle of Blood River. In 1994, the management of the monument launched a campaign to change the perception of the monument. It was based on its cultural significance rather than its political meaning. In 2011, the monument was declared a National Heritage Site, a clear indication that changes made were deemed positive. A large amphitheater with seats approximately 20,000 people was erected on the northeast of the monument in 1949. The cenotaph that is situated in the center of the hall is the central focus of the monument. In addition to being viewable from the Hall of Heroes, it can also be seen from the dome at the top of the building from where much of the interior of the building can be viewed. Through an opening in this dome, a ray of sunlight shines at 12 o'clock on 16 December annually, falling onto the center of the cenotaph. The ray of light is said to symbolize God's blessings on the lives and endeavors of the four trackers. From the monument, we will make our way to the second stop of the Pretoria City Tour, which will be the Paul Kruger House Museum. The Kruger House, built in 1884, was the original home for Paul Kruger, president of the former Transvaal Boer Republic. The house has been refurbished to reflect the time when the president and his wife, Gesina Kruger, lived there. International admiration for Paul Kruger and the struggle for freedom from British imperialism. His journey to Europe, his exile, are illustrated in the exhibitions. Adjacent to the Kruger House is the former Bantu Commissioner's Office building, erected in 1932 on the same site as the old Native Pass Office. Our third stop from the Kruger House will be Church Square. Church Square's layout was designed by Vivian S. Sears Spooler in 1912 and during its early years, the square was used as a marketplace and sports field. There is a statue of Paul Kruger erected at Church Square to celebrate his contribution as a president in South Africa. Church Square also has the famous Palace of Justice where Nelson Mandela was sentenced to life in prison. The founder of Pretoria declared the square to be used as a churchyard and marketplace. The square was surrounded with various church buildings that stood from 1856 to 1905. After spending time learning about this historic center of Pretoria, our fourth highlight will be Union Buildings. The Union Buildings form part of the logo of the Pretoria city which is the administrative capital of South Africa. The sandstone building designed by Sir Herbert Baker started in 1910 to commemorate South Africa's union status obtained in that year. The fifth and final stop in Pretoria City Tour is the Kalinin, a small town east of Pretoria alongside the diamond route that is heavily reliant on the diamond mine. Kalinin Mine is one of the world's most celebrated diamond mines and one of the major sources of the blue diamonds in the world. It is the third richest mine in the county. The mine is owned by Petra Diamonds in the town of Kalinin. Kalinin earned its place in history with the discovery of Kalinin Diamond in 1905, which was the largest rough diamond ever found at 3,106 carats. The diamond was cut to form the two most important diamonds in the British crown jewels. Petro Diamonds purchased a 37% stake in the mine from De Beers in 2008. The company increased this to 74% in 2009 by purchasing Al Raji's shares. 
Petro Diamonds has planned for the expansion of Kalinin Diamond Mine to increase the mine's production from 920,000 carats to 2.6 million carats. The open pit mining at the Kalinin Diamond began in 1903 and it is one of the major sources of blue diamonds in the world. Our full day tour runs every day from 8 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. You can book it online or on the website and contact details will be on the next slide. Thank you for joining our virtual tour. We look forward to seeing you soon.